Good morning, folks. It's been an interesting couple of days with the new sunspot incoming on the north. We saw three M-class solar flares and three CMEs, but due to the position of the eruptions, they are not Earth-directed. The departing limb has gotten in the mix as well, firing some CMEs of its own off in the direction of Mercury and Jupiter. In addition to the initial three flares, we've taken an M7 just this morning, the largest of the bunch, and still not yet Earth-facing. The sunspots that are Earth-facing continue to be quiet. One has some size but magnetic spread, while the other is complexing but likely too tiny to make fireworks, leaving only the incoming active region, which appears to be anything but simple, with negative sprinkles back through a positive core of the active region. Eyes open for more there. In 211 angstroms, we note the dark patches coming in north and south. This is extremely rare because both are of negative polarity. In a true nod to the unending solar pole reversal, we've got nary a positive influence in sight, and some solid force turns this way. Last 24 hours of solar wind show speed and plasma temperature rising with density in flux. We've seen some magnetic instability in the Earth system, but more so we've seen energy introduced in total, and a domination of the protons as the electron flux takes a big hit. Top quake of the day was in New Zealand but it rang much of the West Pacific, even up to Japan. We saw a moderate tremor strike in the Arctic Circle north of Iceland, and an extremely unusual uptick near the Nevada-Oregon border. These are listed as Oregon, but clearly falling on the Nevada side of the state line, two dozen small quakes in one day. Eyes open there. Folks, if you do your research, you already know the climate extremes have taken hold, with both hot and cold swings prevalent across the globe. But the one area that has really only seen warming is the North American West Coast. We're now discovering that this is an entirely natural process, not at all driven by human-induced climate change. Article linked for you below. Jumping to the slow-moving disaster. Residents will be happy to know that the lava has stalled. Eyes have been on Hawaii for weeks now, and we'll continue to watch for updates on the progress. We've got a great link at weather.com about fall breaks or hole punch clouds. The article goes about how you'd expect it to go from a mainstream outlet, but the pics are nice and it leads us into the latest request for public help. NASA wants your cloud photos. I've got the story and the sites linked for you below. Essentially, you'll be doing ground confirmation of satellite imagery. This is right up the alley of many of you folks. Check it out. Please note a system developing in the Bay of Bengal there. Meanwhile, Nuri is powerful and charging north, still looking like a direct landfall to Japan will be avoided. Vance is weakening as it approaches Mexico, but the moisture shearing off into the central U.S. convergence continues, dumping up into the states there. It's now rained on the Mobile Observatory for 24 straight hours here in Texas. It will continue up the line tonight to complement the Pacific moisture flow across the northern states and southern Canada. In Europe, note that the large-scale flows have dipped way down to curl back up around Italy. Also in the mix is a low in the channel sitting in the center of the larger flow. The clouds are following that larger belt down, around, and back up. Tonight's watch zones in purple should make a lot of sense. Down under, you see the convergence drawn from the southeast corner of Australia back north and slightly to the west. Little convergence at New Zealand as well. The storm warnings stick to the colliding air masses for the most part there. Clouds are popping. Mobile Observatory is in Levon, Texas today, just outside of Dallas. We'll be in San Antonio and Houston this weekend. Come out and see us, chat, hang out. All the details are found at observatoryproject.com, which is also linked right below this video. Got shots of our start at close with 6.20 a.m. Eastern Time, 5.20 a.m. Central. That's the news. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.